A library? This is unexpected. Wow! Oh, well, isn't this a rare collection of tomes? You royals sure have coffers to burn. Oh, books in the ancient tongue! Can you read it? Well, no, but I just... This has nothing to do with our job. Huh? If you want it, just take it. Don't pretend to be noble. You're consorting with demons. Good grief, Velvet. You can't lighten up for once in your life. Lighten up? Did you forget we're here to kill someone? You really want that ratty old thing? There's gotta be way pricier ones. So, Mogulu, which way to the worship hall? Hmm, which way indeed? I asked you a question. I told you I've been here before, but I never said I was an expert. And I said we'd dump you if you started to annoy me. Dump me? Then you'll need to look for a trash can first. <sighs> I'm the fool for even trying to hold a conversation with you. That's the spirit. Loosen up those shoulders, and the way forward ought to make itself plain. Feeling nervous, Lafayette? A bit. I can teach you a spell that will help. Like that eeny teeny spiny crow thing? No, that was divination to draw back the veil of fate. This spell is a bit of magic that will improve your fortune. Here is what you must chant. Magic Kazam! <laughs> See? It totally works. I'm not sure. What did this spell do? It's a pointless charm to dispel a pointless worry. If it's pointless, why even perform it? Because humans are creatures that find themselves burdened unknowingly by pointless things. In any case, chant after me. Are you ready? Uh, all right. Magicazam! Magicazam. I can't hear you! Try again! Magicazam! Magicazam. Once again, with feeling! Magicazam-azam! Magicazam-azam! Again! Magicazam-azam! Is that all you've got? Magicazam-azam-zam! Shh, keep it down. We're trying to sneak in, remember? What? <laughs> Just an old gag. Shut up! Ow, what was that for? I was only easing the boy's nerves. We have more important things to worry about. Hmm. Demons and Malakim are such stiffs. Magic Kazam. Huh? Did that help? <laughs> and now the boy consoles me. Well, that was pointless.
not worth my time. <laughs> I won't improve by fighting weaklings. Are you Gideon? I am in prayer at the moment. Who are you? I asked you first. Such ill manners. But what else could I expect of a demon? <laughs> Stop right there! <gasps> Another accurate augury. An ambush. Is this more of your Reaper's curse? Or do you think the old lady sold us out? You figured it out, didn't you? That he's running the Nectar operation. Indeed. I followed up on each of the incidents you caused, and the trail led me all the way to the High Priest Gideon. Yet you still defend him? The punishment he deserves is for the Abbey to administer. Punishment? How dare you! Do you realize how much I've done for the good of the Abbey? Make her nice and desperate, Velvet. I just know the result will be something wonderful. <laughs> Stay out of this, witch. No escape! Stand aside. I'll take killing flash! But I'm just close. I won't get it! Form zero! No! Damn reinforcements. They have the advantage at range. Crush her head. Bienfu, did you think you could run from your true mistress? M -m -m Miss Maki Lu? I'm putting you back where you belong. You, descendant of the Seventh Grove, see our vows renewed. May our prayers of discontent vanish infinitesimal into the void. Remember this true name I bestow unto you, Fushi Cass! Yeah! <laughs> oh, now it is on! That power! Are you an exorcist? Wrong! I am a witch! For whom the universe is a plaything, and the souls of men but motes. Oh, but if it's a name you need, call me Miss Mogilu! A human consorting with demons? Have you no shame, girl? <laughs>
us, Margie. Oh, I'm nothing like Rokura. I forget to get so fast. Then pay us back right here. Always invest responsibly, children. Stand aside. Never! Wait! All I did, I did for the sake of the Abbey. We needed money to build the temple. That's why I sold the nectar. I know I was wrong to produce so much of it, but, but I was only trying to help the people as best I could. Let's talk this over. Who ordered you here? Was it the sick? Was it the doctors? Or... No. Was it Artorius? I knew it! Damn his eyes! So he wants to wipe me out of existence, does he? That bastard! After all the work I did for him! No! Velvet! That false savior will pay! Be rid of me so easily! You can't die now! You think you could read books when you're dead? Um, don't you die either, Velvet! Priestie's getting away. He won't. I'll hunt him down. So, not even the High Priest is immune to demon blight. I guess he hit his limit. is holding this thing captive? This barrier, I know it well. It seems our errand has met with success. At least technically speaking. Right. Let's get out of here. What did you do to the High Priest? What is this demon? I don't know. And I don't care. Do not mock me! You are the mockery. What do you hope to do to me without your exorcist powers? That was some night, though. Stay sharp. Dawn hasn't come yet.
stealing a Moloch from an exorcist. How did you pull that one off, Mogilu? The info was my Moloch to begin with. Then he betrayed me and ran away from his rightful home. <laughs> Miss Mogilu treats Malakim so bad, bad, bad. I couldn't take it anymore. After a little while, I ran into Madame Eleanor. She was so much nicer to me. I see, I see. Now, just how am I going to punish you for that little slander on my character? <laughs> the bad, bad days are here again! You're an exorcist, then. Eh, I'm a witch, silly. Bienfu here is the catalyst thingy for my magic. But only exorcists can form a pact with Malakim. <laughs> oh, yeah? Says who? Someone who likes making dumb rules? <laughs> Enough, Velvet. Questioning her is a good way to go mad. You did the job well, it seems. You heard quickly. That's about all I'm good for. And with these old ears, sometimes it's hard to hear at all. And did you learn anything about the key for passing through the barrier? Yes. Only the high-ranking exorcists can enter through the barrier protecting Artorius and his temple. Exorcists are considered high-ranking if they are accompanied by at least four greater Malachim. Hmm... So if we had four powerful Malakim with us, we could slip through. But Malakim outside the Abbey's control are rare. They thought this through. Hmm. Well, I may not look it, but I'm a greater Malak. Aizen, Lafiset, and Bienfu. So we just need one more. We'll have to steal it then. So I have to come too? Sounds like a pain. Then stay. We don't need you. We'll keep Bienfu, though. You have no courtesy. How about, it would be an honor, Madame Mogilu? More like that. Would you come if we asked? To attack the shepherd? <laughs> Depends on how you ask. A battle between shepherd and demon sounds like a real fine spectacle. I'm afraid this is just how Miss Mogilu is. Miss Mogilu, um, I, I would like it if, if you came with us, P please. Luffy said. Well, what choice does that leave me? I suppose I could tag along a little while longer. You can count on me. Melchior will be there. You and I still share the same goal. Our business is done. You can have this back. Keep it, dear. As long as you have that, we will count you as an ally worthy of aid. Allies of the ones trying to kill the Savior? You might regret that. <laughs> Such a considerate young lady. Listen, dear, all of us live on the fringes of their so-called reason, do we not? Don't say I didn't warn you. Velvet, wait. My, my. I can't blame him. It's been a long night. Some aid for your allies? Of course. Right away.
You're finally up. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Getting sleepy or hungry is a natural part of life. I won't eat you. What about your wounds? Feeling pain? That's also natural, right? I'm fine. It was nothing. You're really tough, aren't you, Velvet? You have to be tough if what you seek is revenge. Revenge? We're leaving. Rokuro and the others are waiting at the plaza. <sighs> what joy to face a clear, refreshing morning! Especially after a long night of metting punishment on my heartless betrayer. <laughs> my poor, battered body! You better not kill our key. You're one to talk. Better not eat the boy. He's your precious key now. I know. Oh? You're facing the Shepherd and an Empyrean. Old Shepsy's one thing, but Empyreans are, you know, just gods who created the world. You think you can win just by smacking it around a bit? That's no Empyrean. It's a phony. Artorius is just using a legend to control the people. Wouldn't a true god be able to do something about the demon blight? <sighs> you don't believe in Enominat? I believe there exists something people call Enominat. But it's just a Moloch that used a special art to bring the other Molochim into our world. You sound confident. I witnessed it three years ago. Well, if it's not actually a god we're against, we just might stand a chance. Of course we do. And ultimately... Our target is Artorius. I don't care about anything else. Revenge against Artorius. For her brother. Alright, Lafayette. Which way is the Empyrean's throne? Um, it was north of Logris. In the mountains, up the Danan Highway. If exorcists are keeping up their inspections, they might provide us a chance to steal another Moloch. I sent my men a Sylphje with orders to scout out the inspectors. With their information, we'll be able to plan the attack. Hmm. We can meet up at Port Zexen. That's the plan. Those Sylph Jays are handy little birds, aren't they? Not only will they always find their destination, they can make for emergency rations in a pinch. I hear grilled Sylph Jay goes rather well with a nice glass of the hard stuff. It's because of the work those birds do for us that we're able to stay one step ahead of the Abbey. Those birds are indispensable to us pirates, and we consider them a part of our crew. Don't even joke about eating them. <laughs> all right, all right. Still, I wonder how they actually do their thing. I know that carrier pigeons rely on their homing instincts, but sylph jays can locate a person wherever they are, right? They're really smart birds. I read in a book that rather than memorizing locations, they can pick up on people's wavelengths. When you send out a Sylph J, the bird can sense the change in your thoughts and will seek out the recipient you have in mind. I hardly ever see them in the wild. Are they a kind of Moloch or something? No, they're not Molochim. They're just an incredibly rare species native to an island in the north. It's a funny story. A chance storm sent us docking at that island. And a mother sylph jay got blown onto our ship, eggs, nest, and all. Sadly, the mother bird died almost immediately. But Benwick stepped in and kept her eggs safe and warm. So that's why they're so attached to him. Usually, they're really hard to train as messenger birds, too. That's Benwick for you. He's always had a knack for things that would give other people trouble. Maybe when they hatched, they took one look at his wild hair and mistook him for their mother. You know what? They are comfortable enough with him to use his head for their nest. So you might have a point. Now that you mention it, he did ask me not to hit him on the head, because one of the Sylph Jays just laid her eggs. Well, if more birds are on the way, we could just eat one to see how it tastes. No! Don't even think about it! 
<laughs> it was worth a try. <sighs> Hello again! I'm Bienfu Amalek! Nice to meet you all! Just so you know, I'm a greater Moloch. You're a greater Moloch too, Luffy said. I'm sure we'll get along great. I'm classified as a greater Moloch? That should be no surprise. You've got a lot of power, despite your appearance. You're a greater Moloch too, aren't you, Aizen? So I've been told. But I can't say I care for measures made by folks who tether my kind. I didn't know that's what it was. I'm sorry. No. Don't worry about it. Just promise me you won't judge your own value from a label given to you by others. I won't. I promise. <laughs> what if that's all that gives me self-worth? They're pirates and demons. Pay them no heed. To me, you are the greatest of all. The greatest? Do you really mean it? Oh, Miss Mogilu, you're so kind. You've changed so much since I left. But you haven't changed at all. You are eternally my greatest servant. Oh, I don't want to be the greatest then. Oh, this is bad, bad. And our roster of the oblivious grows longer. I hear the High Priest was injured and will be recuperating somewhere for the near future. The church is saying he was cleaning his villa when something fell off a shelf and hit him. But there's also rumors that thieves snuck into the palace and attacked him. If that's true, who could have done it? He's always been there for the people, and everyone looks up to him. What a terrible rumor. Indeed. I want to believe it's just that, a rumor. But it's got the children all frightened. I'm not scared at Liar! Sis saw you crying! I'm the one who's not scared at all! If any bad guys show up, I'll handle them! Who's scary? Something fell off a shelf? Nice. If it got out that the High Priest was murdered and in the castle of all places, the people would lose faith in the government. Remember you? I'd never forget someone dressed as weird as you guys. <laughs> You're those traveling misfits, the ones who did that dove act in Logris. Mad Lou's menagerie, right? It's Moggy Lou's menagerie. Get it right or pay the price. So, you saw us in Logris? That's right. I was there on Port Zexon business. I really looked forward to seeing you perform, but it never happened. But today's my lucky day. How about performing here in Port Zexon tomorrow? I want to see that sullen girl go coo again. It was hilarious. And that magician's dove trick, too. <laughs> sure, but I'll have you know we don't come cheap. Oh, I've got the money. I'd pay anything to see that again. No. Oh, come on, please. Take a hint. Hey, now, don't be like that. Sorry, friend. Best give it up. Otherwise, my apprentice here might show you a special trick she's been itching to practice. One where she makes you disappear. <laughs> that sounds fun. Do it! If you insist. But just a warning, there's no guarantee you'll make it back. Still want to try? Wait, seriously? Seriously. And remember, it's Mogilu's menagerie. See you at our next show.